Hello everybody, welcome back to the world of me. My name's Cougar and this is our, well, our final episode from A Kiwi's Tinker Crate. Uh, we of course got our last box in uh, right here and just like all the other boxes, a standard box size. Now this one is how to build a motor. Uh, now let's go ahead, tear into it, see what stuff's inside and then we'll get to building. All right everybody, so here you go. Um, We've got uh, obviously all the parts, the paperwork here. We'll start off with the Tinker Zine. And uh, as you can see here, it does have a picture of him with a, uh, a basic motor there. And obviously, you know, just like in all the rest of them, the Tinker Zine does give you some understanding on where this kind of stuff came from, the science behind it, and uh, you know, what you can do with it, and other ideas that uh, that they may have that maybe follow in line with the same kind of premise that this is. Uh, now then we've got uh, obviously the parts here we'll get to the instructions last. Uh, right here we've got uh, looks like a a clear kind of ring thing but it has some uh, some uh, little arms off the side and then we've got a couple of little black plastic pieces there uh, inside so figure out what those are for. Now we've got some of the laminated wood pieces and those uh, of course are laser etched. Uh, they have some uh, markings on them. They even have uh, the Tinker logo on the bottom of this one. We'll see how those get put together here in a few minutes. Ooh, and then we've got some kind of cool looking parts. Some like gold and copper looking uh, pieces, some strips. Uh, and everything there's uh, looks like maybe a couple of those are like sticky foam pieces in there as well uh, and even some uh, some little discs uh, maybe some like paper or cardboard discs in there and then we've got uh, looks like all the electronics um, we've got a spool of copper wire there we've got uh, a couple of AA batteries as well as the holder we've got uh, a couple little like sleeves or something like that they look like copper sleeves and oh there it was stuck to the bottom but uh, we've got uh, some some little gator clips and uh, this is definitely a magnet so uh, there we go for all the parts and then we've got the instructions here and you can see kind of the basic build of it with the line drawing there uh, here on the other side it shows some of the parts and it shows more of a picture of the of uh, what it looks like we have an actual photograph of what it looks like right here uh, and then when you open the thing up we have the instructions on how to build it so uh, let's go ahead and follow these instructions and uh, get to building everybody so here we go we've got it all finished and a uh, couple little things to mention with this it is a little bit uh, difficult to kind of put together uh, as you're wrapping the wire you do have to pay attention 
you got to go to either side of the little crossbars there and try to keep tra track of it so that you don't get it all on one side or the other and uh, while you're doing it you do have to keep it tight uh, you know if you need to take and put a piece of tape on it or something like that when you go to finish it off and push it through the other side and you'll see what I'm talking about when you read the instructions but uh, you have the wire going in on one side and then you have it finished off going in on the other side and uh, so you'll need to make sure that it stays relatively tight you don't want it loose or anything because then it won't work quite right but uh, what you do here is this is just a little push button and you have to hold it down it doesn't stay clicked down uh, but what you do is you have your magnet in here and you have three little slots there uh, we have it in the first slot and uh, then you take and give your little uh, your little spool here a spin and then hold the button down and there we go we got a little electric motor now one thing you can do is uh, you can take and move it I'm going to try and move it all the way back to the third one and see what it does now it spins but it spins not quite as fast and I'm guessing because the magnet isn't as close, it's not creating as strong a magnetic field to cause this to uh, spin around faster. Move it up one, spins a little faster, move it up to the front, but there we go, spins pretty quick. And uh, right here it's almost right up against it, so of course the closer the magnet is to the, uh, to the windings there, the faster it's going to move but I think this was a really cool kind of uh, kind of build to finish off the series with uh, I'm really big into electronics and things like that and so for me personally I really liked it we've gone through quite a few of these anything from uh, some stuff that had to do with art to obviously uh, motors to uh, the last few have been uh, some of them have been about uh, moving pictures and things like that and so there's a ton of different things there uh, that are available through Tinker Crate. I know this is our last one that we're going to do for now. Uh, I, I would like to know what you guys think. If you guys would like to see more things uh, like the Tinker series, uh, you know, a QE's Tinker Crate, or, uh, you know, things kind of like this little builds or uh, boxes that are based on kids' stuff or whatever. Go ahead and drop a comment down below. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button too so I can kind of get notified and I can check them out. I do read the comments and uh, I have had a couple of kids have asked me about some of the things uh, they've had problems with and I've helped them out as best I can. And uh, you know, if you're interested in seeing some new stuff, some different stuff, uh, something else uh, maybe that's not included in the uh, Kiwi Crate and Tinker Crate kind of stuff, something else that you've seen out there that uh, might make another good series for uh, for the channel. Uh, let me know. You know, shoot me a shoot me a little message down there in the comments, and you know, we'll check it out, and maybe we'll uh, start a new series uh, based on your suggestion. All right, guys. Well, my name's Cougar. This is a Kiwi's Tinker Crate here on the world of me. Unfortunately, it is the last episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you want to check out any of the other videos, uh, we do have a Kiwi's Tinker Crate playlist. Uh, so check that out. It'll be one of these little boxes that'll probably be floating around here uh, on the screen at the end of the video. And uh, you guys can uh, go back through and check out all the different things that we've built uh, over the course of the last couple of years now. Uh, but uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the series and uh, I know I've liked it. It's been pretty fun for me and uh, You know some of the others that have been on with me and uh, you know That'll do it for us for this series uh, I'd like to wish you guys all a good day and I will see you later. Bye